So, uh, the first one we're going to look at is the 13, uh, is the X cubed? So, this one here, the, the question 13. I don't know why I just, just did that, but we'll, we'll, oh yeah, now I know why I did that. This, I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to color it in, and then the other questions disappear. It gives the illusion of a neat part. Now, here's what we're going to do. Uh, first method, I'm going to look across. Is there a letter they all have in common? X. So I'm going to do X brackets X squared plus XY plus plus 4Y. Unlike uh, I check a lot. That's what I'm good at maths. I check all the time. I'm always doubtful that I got it wrong. I never leave a, I never leave a line thinking I got it right. I always think I got it wrong and I go back and check. X times X squared X cubed. X times XY, X squared Y, X times 4X, 4X squared, X times 4Y, 4XY. Now I'm certain I got it right, or at least 99.9% .9 certain. I go again. I go, okay, if I multiply it back out, it turns back into the first law. I'm not going to do that. Now I'm going to target the blue zone. Any ideas what to do with that blue zone? Yes. Yeah, so x squared and x, y, so we're going to do, technically, we'll call it the red part, so go for it. Exactly. And then we're going to do the green part. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping the colors help you rather than wreck your head. Okay, it's usually just a way of targeting. Okay. Now, the bracket's the same in both of them, isn't it? So what can we do next? Huh? And, oh, so x plus 4, yeah, that's a 4. And then x plus y. Okay. Some other, some other person comes along, and here's what they do instead. Okay. They, they say, do you know what? I, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to go right in. I'm just going to get stuck right in. How many x's can you take out the first two? We'll call it the purple zone. How many x's can you take out the two of them? x squared. What's left over? X plus uh, Y, yeah, and then we're going to enter the uh, the red zone here. What's that then? 4X into, and then this person who hasn't made a single mistake gets an answer like this. No bother. Now, he isn't going to get full marks for that. Why will he not be entitled to full marks? Yes, sir. Which bracket can you take the stuff out of? Take, you can take an X out of that, can't you? And there, there's both answers done the same way. Both answers, sorry, two different ways, same answer. Any questions on that one? No. All right, guys. So, uh, this one here, what I'd say the first thing we can do is we can take out, is there a letter that's in everything? P. Is there a number that will divide into all the numbers? Two. Two P. So what's going to be left over here? Two B Q. After that? Minus five R, yeah. Minus five Q. And then here? Plus 2 PR. Now, guys, what I know is here is that, uh, like, like what you were saying last time, see the brackets here? The brackets is essentially a big box, and this is boxed off from the 2P. Essentially, I'm boxing that section off, and I'm going to work on it. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm noticing that it's not in order. So, what, what are we going to do? We always agree we never change the first one, don't we? Which one looks most similar to that? The 2PR looks the most similar. You could move in the, two, the 5Q if you wanted, but I, I'd really go with the 2PQ and the 2PR. Is that right? And what happens here? Q leads R. So what's your next choice between the 5R and the 5Q? One second. Okay. Now... 
minus 5 or right, everybody's cool with that now what can we take out of here the two p is still on the outside so what can i take out of 2pq and 2pr 2p what can and now what's left over what can i take out of the minus the minus fives that's it Okay, that's not a minus sign, by the way. That's just a thing. Now finish it off. Once again, this 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 bracket here, this square is still there, isn't it? We're just boxing it off away from everything else. So what's left over? Two p minus five, and q plus r, and then <clears throat> the two p is at the front. Everybody cool with that? Now you did it another way. What? You, you can still do it. It does. It does make too many possibilities. I won't be able to cover them all. So anytime I do a correction, you could have it done six or seven different ways. If I ask you guys to keep the first bit the same, then there's only two possible ways. I cover fifty percent of the class in my solution. Just, just for I could jump all that whole thing around and still get the correct answer. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting. And 19, like a glove. Now, what do we have in common here? It's 3 multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by x. Take away 12xyy. Okay, what numbers are common to both, or what will divide into both the numbers? 3. What letters? Just x. And what's left over? x squared. Four y y or four y squared, and what can we do with this part, the green part? Oh, yeah. And then, and we're done, aren't we? Okay. No. Yes, yeah, sorry. Relax. No. Thanks for asking. No. Uh, <clears throat> this one here, guys. <clears throat> yeah. Take out 2a, and we get 25a uh, squared minus 9b squared. And that, look, we're in business now, aren't we? <laughs> okay. Uh, 2a into... Five a plus seven b, five a minus seven b. Everybody cool with that? Uh, guys, next one. Uh, twenty one. So, uh, what can you take out twenty one, lads? Yes, sir. Two a. And now what's left over? Three x minus. Now, guys. This blue part here, it's what we did two or three exercises ago. We can do it the fast way, can't we? Why am I able to do it the fast way? So 1x squared, exactly. I can do it fast. Two numbers. Is it, It's a plus, uh, plus minus. How do I know it's a plus minus? Ends of minus, and the middle is plus. Somebody told me to use 5 and 2. Plus 5 and a minus 2. Okay, are you guys? Yeah. Okay. Now.